serving up her latest piece of art. For a player with 59 Grand Slam titles under her belt, inevitably it's all about tennis. Abstract splodges produced by whacking a paint-covered tennis ball against a target canvas. Using a racket and ball is nothing new to Martina Navratilova, but instead of winning points, she's painting pictures. Martina calls the technique tennising. It's sort of a natural progression, actually, to take it into, the, uh, into this kind of realm. And, and again, for me, it's, it's an expression of what tennis is to me. But the new art form wasn't the tennis star's own idea, but one put to her eight years ago by the Slovak artist Juro Kralik. I like tennis. Either I was never playing that professionally, very, very little uh, amateur uh, level, but I'm a big fan. Yeah. And I understand about her feelings, and I feel that was very important for us, for the cooperation, that we understand us. Euro creates the fake grass and clay backgrounds and decides where Martina should aim the balls. As you might expect, it's a messy business. Since they started working together, the pair has created more than 300 paintings. And the latest exhibition in London is putting a selection of them up for sale. It's been well received, otherwise we wouldn't be trying to sell it and, uh, and, and say, here it is the to the world. You know, we had to make sure that it was good before we sort of exposed ourselves that way. With a cut of the money from sales going to the Laureus Sport for Good Foundation, the artistic duo hope their work will appeal to sports and art lovers alike. Very impressed, especially when I realise that she's taken part in every single piece. It's really original. I mean, you think it's quite a simple idea, but it's amazing about like, the different colours she brings out and the different, obviously, techniques she uses. And if you fancy getting your hands on an original Navratilova, they're going for between $600 and $28,000 a piece.